We're going to be focusing on going through pre-block. Now remember, the pre-block is a isolated pillar six throw. The idea is we're going to have a flatter orbit. We're going to be staying down pre-blocked here. That always means locked up here at the hip, locked at the knee, staying down right. So what we're going to do is learn how to turn everything through. We're already in that pre-block position. So all we want to feel is that. And then right at the very end, it straightens up. So we've kind of refined this over the years. This is why we're at throwing chair interaction 4.0 we keep making nuances and adjusting and the things that we test and what are the cues that work better and what are the technical things that we keep seeing translating to bigger throws so staying here we've always talked about sinking deep my first 72 foot shot putter was a kid named matt katnick in 2015 and one of the things the cue we used to use was sink and so we want to really focus on that so the first thing that we're going to do again is teaching that pre-block and you'll notice again i keep my wrist wrap i have small wrists you definitely going to want to do it it keeps that support behind the wrist and it's going to help you create more stretch against your fingers really important now one of the things is we're again we're going to line up our 12 o'clock i'm setting up our pre-block because i'm throwing and i'm going this way just to demonstrate but you're going to notice when i'm here and i we're going to be setting it up bringing it in and getting that elbow into position that's really key so when we look from this angle you're going to see this you're going to see how as i come down and i bring it in i'm going to get that shot higher up on the neck and i'm always trying to get that crease of the elbow down we talked about this again in the week one and we want to get that elbow back and we're going to see this so we're going to see getting ourselves set the angle elevator drop notice the double bend legs you're going to see me kind of wind flat so i feel that separation and stretch reflex so again you'll notice when i'm throwing on this 12 to 6 line and i put everything into position this way i'm here and you're going to see that my hips are facing about eight o'clock my knees at nine my hips are at eight this is about 6 37 probably more 6 30 and so as i'm in here and i feel the lock we want to make sure that the head and the shoulders are over the knee and we're going to be winding flat and we're feeling that motion here so in the pre-block we're holding that block here 630 turn the hips through so you're going to want to feel that but typically you'll feel this type of position and that's what we're looking for so again what we're going to be doing in these throw sessions is teaching you do a throw add in your specific pillar drills if you always watch your your video and your heels always low you're going to be doing the heel up push you're going to be doing a drill down you're going to be doing a block leg if your block leg's always here it's going to be block leg extension right so you go from here to here it's still not hyper extended but extended up so that the hip turns through those are going to be the things you're going to want to do okay guys thanks for watching we'll see you for your stand throws next